Okay, so we move on to task A3D. It says to open the clients table. So let's go on and open the clients table. And then it tells us, uh, Medi wants a list of clients who have chosen particular services. Okay, the list must include the clients who have chosen a lawn care service and a makeover service. Okay, so she wants clients who have chosen a lawn care service and a makeover service. We should only show the following fields in this order and it should be sorted in descending order of client ID, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and create the uh, query. So create a query on the client's table, okay? So let's uh, go into uh, the table and uh, let's go into create and let's go into query design and let's take the client's table, okay? So what are the fields that we need? We need the client ID, payment method, surname. Client ID, payment method, surname. Okay. Now, to include the criteria, to include the criteria, lawn care service and makeover service, we will definitely have to uh, take both these fields as well. Lawn care, we will have to take. Makeover also, we will have to take. Okay. However, these two fields we will not be displaying because the quick pass paper did not tell us to display it. So let us untick these two. Okay, so we untick these two. And our criteria for them, we want it. We want to know customers who have taken lawn care and taken makeover. So we say yes to both. Okay, because yes, because as you can see in the client's table, lawn care and makeover are tick boxes. Tick means yes, no tick means no. Okay, so we put yes here and we also put yes here. And the next criteria, the next thing was, do not forget to sort it in descending order of client ID. So client ID sort descending, okay? And then let's go into QD design and let's run it, let's apply it, let's execute it. Okay, so we click on run. And so these are the clients who, uh, what do you call, chose lawn care service and makeover service okay so we save the query as lawn underscore query let's save it query say okay and uh, the next thing that we are supposed to do is create uh okay so let's take a screenshot of the query design query design so let's come into view design view and let's take a screenshot of this in screen and let's paste it in Microsoft Word. I think I have closed it, isn't it? So let me open it up. Paste it over here. Okay. And the next thing that the paper says is uh, resave task A3. So control S. Do not print at this stage. Okay, Medi wants to produce a database report based on the results from lawn underscore query, create a database report to display the results. Okay, so first make sure you are on the correct uh, query. Okay, you're on the correct query. Then you can click on create and you can say create a report. Okay, so now it creates a report for you. Okay, now remember in report also we have multiple views. We have four different views. Okay, for now we'll remain layout view. Okay, so that we can make the changes that they want. So the database report must have a suitable title. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a suitable title. Uh, let's go into this and let's say, for example, these are clients, or shall we say clients who chose lawn, what was it? Lawn care and Okay, that's it. Okay, I think my device has got stuck. Can it has uh, try again? It crashed. I think. Let's create again. Create report. And uh, we are in design view right now. Sorry, layout view. So over here, we're going to change this to clients who chose lawn care and need over services. Okay, right. 
The next thing it says is it should only show the required fields. So the required fields are these client ID payment method surname. Exactly, that's what is shown. Uh, next, it says it should show the record sorted as required. So it should be in descending order of client ID. Shall we check that? JL, yes, it is in descending order of, uh, of client ID. And next, enter your name, your candidate number, and center number in the page footer. Okay, so for this, we will have to go into design view. So this is the page footer area. It's very small. So let's keep the cursor over here and increase the space. And then let's go into report design and take a label, okay? Take a label and draw your label over here. And over here, you are supposed to type uh, your name, candidate number, and center number. Your name, candidate number, and your center number, okay? Let's go into form uh, report view and see how it looks. So it looks quite fine. Your footer has also appeared. Uh, make sure that all the data is displayed on one side of A4 and is easy to read, okay? And then save the report as lawn report. Okay, so let's come over here and uh, to make sure that it is fitting one A4 paper. Let us just change the view into print preview. So when you are in print preview, it's showing you for one A4 paper what you can see. So you can see in this one A4 paper, everything is properly visible. Okay, footer is also there, date, time, everything is there. So not a problem, okay? If there is any issues where it's going out of one A4 paper, then what you do is close print preview and then come into layout view and then click on the columns and then start making them smaller or bigger uh, so that they fit into one A4 paper, okay? Right, then the next thing to be done is uh, save the report as lawn report. So let's click on save and save it as lawn uh, report and say, okay. And the next thing is it says print lawn report. So that's very simple. We simply click on file and we can say print. Okay, and you can say print from here, or you can come into print preview. First, make sure everything looks all right, and then go ahead and click on the print button. Okay, right. Then what happens is it says uh, task A3E, answer these questions in document task A3. Give one reason why number is not used as a data type for a telephone number in a database. Okay, so for telephone number, we do not set the data type to number. Because if you set it as number, then the telephone number cannot begin with zero, okay? If the data type, let me, some of you must wondering what I'm talking about. Over here, over here, if you do see, do they have any telephone number requirement here? Uh, okay, so here, okay, so there is no telephone number fee. Okay, contact them. Okay, so contact is over here. And the data type has been set to text. So the question paper is asking, why wasn't it set to number? The reason this was not set to number is because if the data type was number, then the telephone number cannot begin with zero. Because when you put a zero at the beginning, the computer will automatically omit it. Okay, because zero, seven, and seven are the same thing. So the computer will automatically uh, omit the zero. Okay, that happens if the data type is number. So that is one reason. Okay, so that it doesn't omit the zero at the beginning. Another reason can be Certain telephone numbers, you may put special characters, such as the plus symbol, plus nine four, plus nine six, plus nine seven, okay? So if the data type is set to number, you will not be able to put that plus symbol in front, okay? So let us note down our answer, okay? So they have asked for one reason. So I'll, I'll talk about the plus symbol. Uh, it has not been set to number since some telephone numbers may come with special characters such as the plus symbol okay so this is one reason okay the three tables in the gardening services database are related okay so let me show you how they are related let's close these first and then let's go into database tools and go into relationships. So you have the three tables over here. Okay. So then what happens over here is identify one foreign key in the linked tables. Okay. So a primary key from another table is known as the foreign key. Okay. So for example, in the services table, the primary key is services ID. The primary key in clients table is clients ID. The primary key in the jobs table is job ID. 
Now client ID is coming from the client table. Services ID is coming from the services table. So both of these are what we call foreign keys. They are primary keys from different from other tables, from different tables. Okay. So over here they have asked you to identify how many? Identify only one. So either you can say client ID or you can say service ID. Okay. So I'm gonna say client ID. The next question goes as. Explain one reason why the contact field in the client's table uses lookup validation. Let me show you what they're talking about. So if you come to the client's table, okay, and if you come to the contact field, they have used a drop-down list or lookup validation, meaning the user can only choose one of these values. They cannot type their own value. They have to either choose email or text or phone call. They cannot type their own value. So why? So of course, yes, okay. So you can say this is to reduce uh, the user from entering inaccurate data, inconsistent data. This is used to prevent the user from entering inaccurate values. Okay. The next question, explain one reason why the three tables in the gardening services database are related. Okay, as you can see, you have these three tables I showed you. These three tables are related. They're asking, why are these three tables related? Yes, so the answer is very straightforward. You can see over here, if the user, if in the jobs table, if they enter a client ID that does not exist in the client table, immediately they're gonna get an error message. If they enter a service ID that does not exist in the service table, immediately they're going to get an error message. Next, when they run queries, next when they run queries, Okay, based on the client ID, automatically all these details will appear. Based on the service ID, automatically all these details will appear because all these details are assigned to a service ID. That service ID is put into the jobs table. So the moment you call a service ID, automatically all these details will appear. The moment you call a client ID, automatically all these details will appear. Okay, so they've asked only for one reason. They've asked only for one reason. So we can very simply say uh, the tables are related. The three tables are related so as to prevent uh, inaccurate data from being entered into the jobs table. Okay, now this and this seems similar, so it will be great if you can give an example. So you can say, for example, in the jobs table, if a user tries to enter, you can say if a user mistakenly enters a wrong uh, client ID, since the tables are related, related or connected, immediately an error message would pop. Okay, so this error message will inform the user that this client ID does not exist, something is wrong, check it. Okay, so this reduces the chances of inaccurate data being entered into the database. Okay, right. So with that, we have then come to the end of section A and the end of a database. We have only one more question to complete and that is to do with spreadsheets. It's quite a big question from page 14 to page 19. It's spreadsheet question. Okay, so we'll be doing this in the next video. I hope things are going well. If it's not, do check the description of do check the description of this video. Uh, it'll give you details on how you can get in touch. Okay, so all the very best. See you in the next video.